Hi, I'm Rachel. I asked some theater friends of mine from Playmakers Laboratory to help us create some unique Halloween looks. I'm so glad you're here. Bonjour ni hao. My name's Johnny and I am thrilled to be here today to bring you an eyebrow tutorial. I am not only the board president for Playmakers Laboratory, but I am also a part-time drag queen and part-time YouTuber, and I will link my channel above and below. But today, I was asked to share with you how I glue down my eyebrows in preparation for Halloween. So in order to glue down your eyebrows, you really only need four items. First, you need an eyebrow pencil. Second, you need an Elmer's glue stick. I like the tiny ones that are purple. You also need a setting powder. I'm choosing to use a Ben Nye powder. And this is a neutral set colorless powder and then whatever foundation of choice that you would like to use. So the first thing that you do when you're gluing down your brows, and I'm going to look at the mirror below me as well, is you just first I always just start by uh, combing the brow backwards against the grain so comb the brow against the grain backwards then you take your glue stick and you go against the grain as well gluing that down making sure you get all of the hairs now I choose to go glue this way so that the hair is evenly coated with glue on both sides to make sure that there's no flyaways or that your eyebrows don't end up looking as I like to call oatmeal-y where you have a lot of uh, your brow showing. So then once you've put the glue on in the reverse direction of the way they grow, do that again. Then you take your eyebrow pencil and you really use this to flatten down all of those hairs that you just moved in the opposite direction. So as you can see, I'm taking this down and slowly smoothing out the brow hair. I'm also fortunate that I don't have thick brows anyways, so gluing down my eyebrows really only takes one or two coats of doing this. And you really repeat this as many times as needed as it really takes for you to cover the brow. So now that I've glued brush them back with the grain. I'm gonna take the glue stick again and put more glue, heavier this time, over all of that brow, really securing down all of the hairs that I just combed backwards and now that I'm gluing forward. Also, it should be noted that you should start with a fresh face for this. So, oh, Tati, that's my cat. So I, cleaned and washed and shaved my face before this because I'm also doing drag this evening. <laughs> okay, so once you've really put glue down on your brows, then you take your neutral set powder and a little powder sponge and really just take it, pat that into the powder and then just really push it onto your brow. Really just don't feel like you need to really conservatively do this. Just really cover up all of the glue that you have now put on your face. And gluing down your eyebrows is not just for drag, but for any Halloween or holiday makeup that you may be doing. See, and I still really see some bare spots on my brow where there's some still exposed glue, so I'm just really pushing this down into my face. And this is why I also like the purple glue stick, is because you can see where there's still glue left. So I'm gonna let this dry for a second. I, as I said, I just washed my face, so I was a little bit damp when I started all this. So actually, today I am gonna do a second round of glue sticks. So now that this is dried, I'm just gonna then take on a little bit a little bit. I'm then gonna put on more glue over the existing powder and glue that I just sat did. Again, really just covering that brow with glue to make sure that those hairs are down and secure. There we go. And once again, set with powder. <laughs> And those look much covered now. Oh, look at that. So while this second coat of glue and powder has been drying, I have been also putting foundation on the rest of my face. And so now I'm just gonna take my foundation and then just take that and then just cover my brow that I have now recently glued 
and powdered and cover all of that now that it's dry with foundation. So I also like to keep a little bit of my natural brow showing because that allows me to start my new eyebrow and I kind of use that always as a base so that there's a good reference point for where I'd like to draw my new eyebrow. So once you're done covering your face with foundation, you can see that the brow is pretty much gone sans the little bit that I left so that I can use it to see. And then the, the final step is I will set with my setting powder, powder once again. So this is the final step, and once you've added powder to your brow one last time over your foundation, you're all set. Now your face is free for whatever eyebrow or lack thereof you want. I hope that you had a good time watching this video, and until next time, take care and be well. Bye. I hope you enjoyed the video. Be sure to check out all the tutorials in the series. And if you create your own Halloween look, use the hashtag CPLTeens so we can see what you've done. Be sure to visit our friends from Playmakers Laboratory at playmakerslab.org.